Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Officer Damon Miller, Jr., Tallahassee Police Department. The host for today's ceremony is Chief Police Michael J. DeLeo. It is my honor to welcome everyone to the City Commission Chambers for today's swearing-in ceremony for our 11 newest police officers. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise for the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, the God of justice, you have given humanity authority to dispense justice on the earth so the weak and vulnerable might be protected from those who would do evil. At the Tallahassee Police Department, we are proud of our roles as public servants. We willingly risk our lives to protect this community, and we offer this service to you and to our fellow citizens with humility and integrity. On this day, we are proud to stand before you and the community as we celebrate these new public servants who have been selected to join us at the Tallahassee Police Department. This swearing in today indicates these servants have received advanced training, passed rigorous screenings and examinations, and have a willingness to be servants. We pray that they will be mighty in spirit, courageous in adversity, and calm in the most trying of situations. Let the trust we place in them not be misplaced. Help this day of celebration be followed by years of fruitful service to the citizens of Tallahassee. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, please be seated. Thank you all for being here today. I'll take a moment and recognize a few important guests because it's important to recognize the support that all of us have. Uh, Commissioner Matlow is here this morning with us. Thank you, sir, for joining us. I know you had a late night last night because I got to spend some of that evening with you. Our city manager, Reese Goad, and our city manager, Cynthia Barber, is here. Uh, we got this fire, Deputy Chief Jones from the fire department, uh, Chief Mike Haddon from the fire department, so uh, our partners in public safety. And, and those relationships are so important uh, as we work together. Just take a few minutes, and you know, I got to spend time with everybody because it's a selective process. And when, you know, Chaplain Aldridge was just talk, talking about what we go through, Paul Ford goes, and what we go through to select and these men and women who choose to serve. You know, we had over 200 applicants last year, and we hired 23 people for the position of police officer. That shows the rigor, the criteria that we look at, how selective we are in choosing the people who serve the community, who represent the police department, our profession, and the city government as a whole, and how important it is to find the people with the right character and the right qualities in what should be a career of service, a career of compassion, and one served with humility. And, and those characters, characteristics and qualities are hard to find in people, and it's, it's a very difficult and challenging profession. So, Every time we sit and we talk, and the last part of the process is an interview with myself and, and the deputy chief. Um, and even though there, there, there's some tutoring that goes on in prep work, it's still a, a conversation that we sit and we have. And, you know, typical, why do you want to be a police officer? Why do you want to be a Tallahassee Police Department? There's lots of choices in the state. There's choices in the, in the region. So th those things are important. One of the things we also talk about, too, is what do they bring to our agency that makes us better. The whole, the most important thing that we do is invest in our organization, our people, and it's a reflection of our community. And those are the things that we talk about at the end about how do they make us better, not only today and in the future, is that's how you make your department better, is by hiring the right people. I firmly believe that our process does that. Uh, there's a lot of work and there's people sitting all around this room that, that are, play an integral role in that and finding the right people. And the reason that's important is because of what we do. You know, you know, people talk about, you know, 
law enforcement and fighting crime and things like that. That's just a small portion of our role. You know, last year we handled over 200,000 calls for service. There was only about 11,000 crimes. Now it's 11,000 too many, but when you look at the calls of service and what all of us do day to day, 90% of it has nothing to do with a crime. And that's where the theme of service and trying to help people comes in because it's a mindset that we're not just there to fight crime, it's, we're there to help partner and make communities better. Uh, many of you know there was a community meeting last night on the south side and we were just talking before the meeting and for me it was, it was such a nice meeting to be at. One, there were more than 200 people there from the community. It was probably one of the best attended community meetings we've had in the, in the five years I've been here. But the night uh, for selfishly, as a chief of police and a person who gets to represent the work that all of you do is one, to be able to stand up there and, and talk about how there's been a 21% decrease in crime the last two years. And that's all about what you do, what these men and women are gonna do. But also that in the hour question and answer session that followed, there was not one question about crime. Not one question about what the police department's doing or why aren't we doing more. And I can tell you that's a significant change of direction from where we were three years ago, five years ago, probably seven, 10 years ago. And that's a reflection of the work of my staff, of all the officers, our professional support staff, the men and women behind the scenes that do so much work. And that's the kind of expectation that we've set that we've partnered so well with the community that one, they don't have to wait for a meeting to ask a question. They don't have to wait for a meeting to come for us to help, but we've gotten so good and we've made so much progress that although our job is certainly not done, and I'm not saying that, there's still a lot of work to do, but that's not their major concern anymore. That's a huge part at one to the men and women I work with, uh, the investment from the city leadership and the commission and the mayor and the support that we've received to get the resources to do that. But it also speaks to the high level of service that we perform, not just on the crimes, but on the other 190 plus thousand calls a year that we go on that aren't criminal in nature. And it's those times that we go out and we help somebody and serve them in their time of need that's so important because maybe to us, and I've talked about this with so many people that, you know, you may work six, seven, 10 car crashes in a day and you're over it. And, you know, you go to your 10th one and it's a fender bender and you don't think it's a big deal because you've, you've done 10 crash investigations that day and nobody's hurt, but it could be that per person's first car accident in their entire life. And they're 30, 40, 50, 70 years old to them, it's a crisis, it's something new. And our job is to reassure them and give them the best experience they can and help them set them back on their feet. And that's what our men and women do so well every day and why I'm so proud to get to represent them. And those are the expectations that you have before you. You know that because we talked about expectations, one from day one in the academy, those of you who just finished the academy, and those of you that we got to steal from some other agencies that have some experience, you know what the expectation is for our agency as a agency of service that goes far beyond what some some people think about is the a police's role in the community and we do so much more so with that we'll get on with the ceremony but i'm very proud of the process that we have to find the right men and women to serve the service that we have provided and the service and the expectations that they know that they have to live up to and i'm looking forward to, to watching them grow and develop over their careers i appreciate you again joining us and, and for the families i know enjoy this day. This is an important moment in these men and women's lives. It's, it's, it's a start in some ways, but it's also a finish and they wouldn't be here without their support growing up, their dreams from their parents, their spouses, significant others, their children. There is no disruption here. This is a family day. Smile, enjoy it, laugh. This is supposed to be fun. So I don't want to sit up here certain nervous, like you guys are nervous. This, this, I, I, I can almost promise you this is the easiest day in your next 25 years, right? Right? Yeah. right? Yesterday you got certified in Taser, right? Not an easy, fun day, right? And I know what happens tomorrow, allegedly, if you don't enjoy it today from a conversation with Lieutenant Clark, right? So, right? so this is a good day that's supposed to be fun. It's a celebration. It is a serious moment. You get an oath of office, and that's solemn, and we take that seriously. But it is, a, it is a moment of celebration. 
we want pictures, we want family, we want children. The badging ceremony to me and the pinning of the badge is not just a, a sacred moment. Uh, I, I take our profession very seriously and there's a big family history, but it's a special moment as an individual and family. And anybody here who's been through this remembers when they were sworn in and they remember the badge and, and who placed the badge on them. And that's an important moment and you should smile and you should hug your loved ones and enjoy it because that's what it's about and you can't do this job alone. So please enjoy it and people in the audience enjoy it. It's not a disruption. We love children. We, we love the babies. It's fun. So please do. Don't, that's not upsetting anybody. That's part of the joy of today and the memories that we're creating for the, a career that we can talk about. Well, you guys can talk about when you retire because more than likely I won't be here 25 years, 30 years from now when you retire, but you know, maybe I'll come back and visit. So, uh, but you know, enjoy the moment, enjoy today. That's very important. Damon? Thank you, Chief. At this time, allow me to recite the Tallahassee Police Department's history. Tallahassee Police Department has a distinguished history of serving as the third oldest law enforcement agency in the United States, behind only Philadelphia and Chicago Police Departments. Tallahassee Police Department was established in the early 1800s when the town council commissioned a night watchman to preserve the peace as civil disobedience took root. Tallahassee's unsavory reputation spread quickly, forcing the mayor to make sweeping law, change, sweeping law and order changes. By the turn of the 20th century, the city and the department were widely recognized for institutional improvements driven by the steadfast commitment and unwavering loyalty of its law enforcement officers. The evolution of law enforcement throughout the years reflects how times, crimes, and responsibilities have changed. The police officer's day is no longer occupied by mediating civil disputes. Instead, the focus has clearly shifted to the stemming the violence so prevalent in today's society. The department survived the Prohibition era, the racial unrest of the 50s, and the peace movement of the 60s, followed by decades of gateway drug crimes only to confront the international terrorist threat of the 21st century. In the beginning, a complement of four officers kept the city secure. Today, it takes nearly 410 sworn police officers, 125 non-sworn members, a host of temporary and volunteer civilians, and a $57 million budget to ensure citizen safety. The men and women of the Tallahassee Police Department carry on a proud tradition and continue to serve this community as members of the 13th National Credit Law Enforcement Agency in the country. The Tallahassee Police Department now holds the designation as being the longest continually accredited law enforcement agency in the United States. After almost 200 years, we continue our mission of public service to protect and serve the community through trust, loyalty, and commitment. And now at this time, Deputy Chief Rochef will recite the police officer's creed. Good morning, and good morning. It's my privilege to recite the Police Officer's Creed. Um, at this time, I'd like to have you guys all stand. I am a police officer. I accept the challenge to protect the community I serve. It is my duty to earn the respect and loyalty that accompanies my authority and responsibility. I present a positive public image and appearance word and deed. I faithfully support the City of Tallahassee's policies as well as the Department's philosophies, goals, and objectives. I promote community-oriented policing, seek out those in need of services, and resolve issues before they become community problems. I protect the innocent while enforcing the laws of the city, state, and U.S. governments without prejudice. My loyalty and dedication are unwavering. I carry out my superior's orders to the best of my ability and earn their respect and trust through word and deed. Integrity and moral courage guide my actions. I pledge to keep faith with my cause and those I serve. I wear my uniform proudly as one of Tallahassee's finest. I am a police officer. If you would just remain standing, I'm going to bring up Major Larson, who will read the nobility of policing creed. Good morning. I have the privilege of reading the nobility of policing creed. Policing is one of America's most noble professions. 
the action of a police officer in an incident can impact an individual for life and a community for generations. Given this realization, every police action must be centered on what is important. Service, justice, and fundamental fairness are the foundational principles on which every police action must be grounded. The nobility of policing demands the noblest of character. Dr. Covey. See. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, allow me to introduce you to our newest police officers. You all may be seated. <laughs> Officer Brooklyn Burns, ID number 709, will be pinned by Sabrina and Bernard Burns. Officer Christopher Ferriello, ID number 726, penned by Teresa Ferriello. Officer Michael Franklin, ID number 720, penned by Becky Franklin and Hayden Franklin.
Officer Jeffrey Klein, ID number 740, pinned by Megan O'Mara. Officer Alquanique Nelson, ID number 746, pinned by Antonio Milan III, Leroy Nelson, Alkevia Smith, Sandra Nelson, and Takedra Nelson. I think she has backup already. Officer Megan Peoples, ID number 739, pinned by Joe and Cheryl Casalano. Officer Montika Porter, ID number 742, penned by Alfred Porter and Dorothy Porter. Officer Allen Taylor, ID number 712, pinned by Sherry Taylor. Officer Guy Ward, ID number 729, penned by Roger and Roxanne Ward.
Officer Justin Wiberly, ID number 710, penned by Troy and Paula Wiberly. Officer McKenna Zweidorf, ID number 727, penned by Chris and Rick Zweidorf. At this time, I will recite TBD's core values. Trust. The fundamental cornerstone of policing is established of trust and truthfulness under all conditions. We pledge to conduct every police action in legal, ethical, and moral manner. We pledge to maintain a strong sense of honesty, morality, nobility, and ethical behavior. We wish to serve as role models for our youth, our community, and our profession. Loyalty. As individuals and as an organization, we will remain loyal to the badge and profession we swore to honor and the responsibility it represents. Through adherence to our principles of duty, honor, and courage, we pledge our loyalty to the mission of the Tallahassee Police Department and to those we serve and protect. Commitment. We value our commitment to this community as being vital to our department's success. We will treat all persons in a dignified and courteous manner respecting ethnic and cultural diversity and the delivery of quality police services. We guarantee to uphold the rights, privileges, and principles and vows embodied in the Constitution of the United States and the state of Florida. Everyone, please stand and remain standing. Attention to orders. By the order of the city manager, Reese Goad, and by the power vested in the chief of police, Michael J. DeLeo, the following individuals are hereby sworn into active duty as police officers with the Tallahassee Police Department, effective this date, Friday, January 11, 2019. Congratulations. You may be seated. Thank you. Just a quick moment. Um, I know there were some conflicts in schedules, but I do want to point out, Mayor Daly, thank you for being able to, to, to join us. Commissioner Williams-Cox, thank you for joining us. And the reason we talk about this is because community safety is a shared responsibility, though sometimes, and most times, the police department is the most visible part of that. It doesn't get done without the support of our, our leadership, the other department heads, the agencies, and, and how we all work together. So it's important to to note that, that we have that kind of support for when you are out there doing your job. And we, we've had a lot of conversations. They, you get to celebrate a little bit, enjoy the time with your families, 
We've talked about the importance of the mission, service with humility, compassion, and character. We have all the belief, and when I say we, I'm talking we, right? The, the, you know the process you went through. You, you know how many people reviewed your files before I ever got to see them, right? The, this is a collective effort when we choose who works here. And we talked about the selectiveness that we have about more than 200 applicants, and we hired less about 25 people last year. Okay? We have vacancies, so it's not that we're turning away people because we're full. The most important thing we can do is find the right people. We believe in you, we believe in your potential and what you bring to our agency and our community. And now it's your turn to live up to those expectations. And we believe you can. And all of us are here to support you and help you in that way. And that we is not just the we as far as the staff, the officers, your FTOs coming up, but it's also the we over here with your family that helped you get you this far and will help you get through the next 25 and 30 years of your career. So that, I ask our chaplain to come up and give us a benediction, and then we'll have everyone come up and congratulate you and your next step in your journey begins. If you would stand and join me in one final prayer for our new officers. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping these young men and women who now join the ranks of the Tallahassee Police Department. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our swearing-in ceremony. Please join us, congratulate new officers, and also refreshments in the foyer.